up everybody this is episode number 10 of our 2018 learning series and i'm dr ci and today we're going to be talking about diversity of thought now how often do you walk into a company and you hear people say we want diversity of thought on our team let me tell you a quick story so i went to go see a small company in seattle the other day and i was talking to them about discrimination and the manager sitting at the table with me he said i want diversity of thought he was like you know we don't really have a racism problem because all of our staff is white, but we have diversity of thought. Now I can unpack that throughout this whole video and we'd be here for a long time on why they definitely have a racism problem. If he's watching this video, I hope that you see that. But I must concentrate more on diversity of thought because what diversity of thought is, is it is related to our cultural identities, our experiences, etc., our personal identities, it's all related to diversity of thought. And then the second phase of that is how we interpret, how we accomplish, how we negotiate, and how we achieve certain tasks, right? It's about the way that we think about and act out certain things. Now the challenge with diversity of thought is that you hear companies say things like, um, well, we don't need to just focus on hiring people of color. We need diversity of thought. If you are using diversity of thought as a justification to not acknowledge other invisible and visible diversities, you are not practicing diversity and inclusion. You are practicing diversity and exclusion and your company needs to check itself. So what I'm telling you today is when you think about diversity of thought, it should be rooted in the experiences and backgrounds of human beings. And that is highly associated with your personal social identities. Okay. That means that because of the way that you are and who you are and how you look or how you think etc you have experienced the world differently now because of the world that we live in that is shaped around our identity the way that we are taught to think and believe etc is shaped around who we are so you cannot have a conversation about diversity of thought without examining someone's visible and invisible diversities because remember it's not just enough to do diversity of thought you need inclusion of thought and in order to do that you need to be able to look at people's different identities. So now when we think about diversity of thought, I want you to think about some of the quick information I've given you here today. I also want you to look below this video in the description and look at all the different tools that we provide for you on how to think about diversity of thought with the inclusion of different identities. So let's practice diversity and inclusion, not diversity and exclusion. I'm Dr. CI, once again from Diverse City, and I'll see y'all in our next video. Y'all have a great week.